Hey YouTube, this is Blaze Taekwondo here, and today we're gonna go over stances. The first stance is called Muasagi. It's your chariot position. Your feet are together. Next stance is called Jumbi Sagi. You want to step out, turn your foot where your heels are touching. Then from here, move your big toe even with your other big toe. So your feet should be now even. And this is Jumbi Sagi. Also for your Jumbi Sagi, you can also measure it with your two fists. Put your two fists Set your two fists in between the arches of your feet. If it fits, then it works. So the next stance is called Chachum Sagi. From here, you're going to step out two feet. So you turn one and pivot. Turn another with my heel and pivot and bend your knees. This is the new way for Chichum Sagi. It used to be much longer. Now it's changed. Hands by your belt, bend your knees. Your knees are not going out or in. They're going over your toes. The, your weight should be on the outside of your foot and around your heel. In the next stance from here, we'll bring our feet together. Next stance is called Apsugi. Apsugi, you're going to take one step forward and you're going to take another step forward, measuring from your heel to your big toe. Your heel goes to where your big toe is. Then your foot here, back foot turns at a 30 degree to 45 degree angle and should be one foot of your feet distance apart. With your back straight, eyes up. Next stance is going to be Apkubi. Apkubi from here, you're going to take one step forward and another step forward, bending your knee. When you look down, you should only see your big toe. Do not lean forward like this. Back straight, eyes up. Your back leg, your back knee is straight. And your foot should still be at a 30 degree, 45 degree angle. My front toes are forward. My front knee is the only knee that's bending right now. My body is up, shoulders forward, not on my belt, is facing forward. From here, the next stance is called Dweet Kubi, or back stance. You're going to turn your back toes so they're facing this way towards the side. Your feet should now be creating an L. Your front foot should move back. Your big toe goes to your heel. You're gonna bend both knees. Your knee should be in alignment with your toes, should be in alignment with your hip and with your shoulder. Your shoulders, your body should be at a 45 degree angle and you're looking straight ahead. Next stance is called Pamsagi. Your back foot is going to pivot 30 degrees. Front foot moves in. Your back foot pivots 30 degrees. Your front foot moves in. This should be shorter than a walking stance. So your apsugi, now from apsugi, 
you want your big toe to come in between, in the middle. Lifting your heel, your one, one fist space from where your heel is. Bending your back knee, 90% of your weight on your back knee. And 10% should be on your front leg. This is Pamsagi. The next stance is called Hakuri Sagi. From here, your back toes turn forward. Front foot is going to come up off the ground. Your toes pulled back as if you're doing a front snap kick, breaking a board with the ball of the foot. Bring your foot back. So the ball of the foot near, very close to your knee, and bend your supported leg, bend your supported knee, and you're gonna balance. And this is Hakuri Sagi. The last stance is called Gua Sagi. This foot, step behind your back foot. You're on your balls of your feet with your back foot. Your shin should be pressed against your calf and your foot here is at a 30 degree angle. If you like what you see, then leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my journey to the top. Thank you for watching.